Okay, now I'm gonna show you a little trick when it comes to uh, vertical lines. In this regard, it's gonna be the tree trunks or whenever, whatever other vertical lines you wanna do. Uh, first, it's easier to move from top to the bottom. Second, another real trick is to use not the tiny fine brushes you might think, but pick a square, flat, 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 square, square, flat, square. I remember I got myself. Oh, matter of fact, yeah, I'm gonna use a new one. A brand new, absolutely fresh. A virgin brush, a virgin brush, I'm gonna use it and it's it's uh, not even uh, just a square square, it's angled also. So yeah, I got myself two flat ones recently, haven't used them yet, so it's a beautiful chance for me to wet the brushes, introduce them to the life. Anyway, so here's the idea. Get a paint on your brush, just like this, and here's your trick. Your beautiful vertical lines go like this, see? Anyway, here, since uh, I'm kind of like painting my painting from the point of view like I was almost laying on the ground, the perspective of long tree trunks, tall tree trunks going in into the height, into the sky, my perspective will be uh, from the perimeter to the center of the canvas. So let's see how it will go for me. One, shit, there's lots of trees in the forest. And obviously the one closer to you bigger and thicker the further away from you will be thinner don't want to make ideal spacing between them because it's not the story in the forest right it's not the story in the forest that's the beauty of the wild nature not perfect but beautiful Anyway, here they are, going, 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 my beautiful trees. Okay, I'm gonna make a few, 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 and then when I will flip over back to the original position, I'll decide which of those trees I'll make the lead singers, the super superstars of this painting. And you know what? I love mistakes, I love mishaps, I love imperfections. As I say, not perfect, but beautiful. That's how we want it. Okay, now I'm gonna flip it back over. And here the real fun begins, okay? I'm gonna make them kind of more naturally growing from the ground over here. Again, remember, there is no such thing as an absolutely perfect straight tree trunk, right? There's lots and lots of different shapes. I mean, different yeah, the shapes, forms of the tree trunks. They will split, some do. Most of the tree trunks thicker at the bottom, right? Unless it's a palm tree. But yeah, you wanna make it thicker at the bottom, thinner to the top. Don't forget to give them splits. Don't forget to add this natural imperfection. And, uh, yes, make them alive. This is happening. This is only the beginning because these are the 
main, right? The main trunks. And then next, what happens next? All the tiny, tiny branches, they will play too. So here we are. I'm going to continue on my tree trunks for a while. I don't think you need to see every stroke I'm making, but you got the idea probably already, right? Closer to you, thicker and darker. Further away from you, thinner and lighter. And um, I'll be back. I'll be back. And you'll see. Yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with the branches, that's for sure. But for now, I'm just positioning my trees. You know what? It already looks cool. We'll see what's gonna happen next. See you in a few.